Hey, Shalom, Israel. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect men doing this work in truth and in sincerity. Um, you know, from watching brothers and, you know, personal situations that I go through uh, myself, you know, you know that we. And, you know, in the spirit of this thing, as far as, you know, now being a Passover, Satan is going to come down strong. Basically means that we got to go harder, man. Satan is hot on our eyes, man. Whether it be infirmities in your body, you know, whether you, maybe you had a little bit before. Now it's, you know, coming at a higher level or that woe is me spirit or a lust demon or whatever, man. It's going to come stronger. It's going to come stronger, man. And... Being that, you know what I'm saying, Satan is coming strong. We got to be more sincere to the Lord, man. All right? We got to come stronger in, in, in speaking and walking with the Lord, man. You know? Like the apostle, uh, apostles said, man. You know, that's... And that's how we know also that these are our spiritual fathers, man. Because your spiritual father is going to correct you, all right, whilst, whilst they tell Like, you know, the apostles are hard to the video. And he said, you know, um... Basically, you know, I believe it said the, the title of it was like basically walk with the Lord while it's daytime, man. You know, you know, and you know, right now, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, call you upon uh, the Lord while he is near. We got to be called upon him every single day, man. And sincerely, 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 you know, walking with him and trying to be hot for this truth, man. Trying to be hot for the Lord, man. Doing videos, you know, praying, fasting, whatever, whatever we gotta do, man. All right, cause the times is coming, man. We, you know, what I'm saying we're actually it's already here, man. We're we're the trying of our faith. Where it's the trying of our faith, man. Through these uh, scoffers and stoners, man. So you're either gonna go one, of th this is either gonna go one of two ways for you, man. You're either gonna get stronger for the Lord, or you're gonna get behooved by Satan, man. All right, but. If you sincerely, you know, if you sincere about this thing of ours, it's truth. Sincere about changing, knowing that you you are fucked up, your ways is fucked up. All right, then you're gonna get stronger for the Lord, man. All right, you're gonna get stronger for the Lord, man. The scriptures speak of in, in Sirach of how, basically, how a man prays, but he's not satisfied until his prayers answered, man. All right. So, you know, the scriptures also speak about supplicating unto the Lord, which basically means to beg him, man. So if you're begging the Lord, if you're begging the Lord, that means that you, you know that something isn't right, man. You know that you want to change, man. All right? That's why the scriptures say, you know, pray without ceasing, man. Like, the, our, our elders and apostles always tell us as well, man, to pray without ceasing. All right? Because when you pray, you know what I'm saying, that builds a... Uh, a strong relationship with the Most High as well, you know, because now the Most High can speak with you, man. You know, He sees that you speaking with Him, all right. That you humbling yourself, all right. Like the scriptures say, rending your heart and, and not your garment, man. So you rending your heart to the Lord, man, when you praying to Him, all right. And us as Jake, what well, we, you know, what I'm saying, Jake, call upon the Lord. When they going through shit, man. We in hell. You know, so we got to stay uh, hot for the Lord, man. Because, like I said, you know, different avenues coming at us. You know what I'm saying? We persecuted on every side, man. The brother, um, uh, GMS giving our diligence. He was basically brought that out in his, uh, his lesson, Wasted Strength in the Mind, man. We persecuted on every side, man. And, you know, think, just thinking about it, like, you may have, you know, have a woman or you may be living at home with your mom. Everybody, basically, you know what I'm saying, that you, uh, that you dwell with or, you know, that you may have a so-called close relationship with. Think about it. What are they in your life for, man? To try you. That's basically what they're in your life for, man, to try you. You know? So we got all these... You know avenues to come at us man but you know we're like the scripture said we are more than conquerors um to then that fear the lord some some to that extent man you know 
Paul said, you know, fight the good fight of faith, man. So that's our fight, man. All right, our fight is not physical, man. It's, it's spiritual. Even as we, you know, bring out these words, these, these scoffers and these scorn, scorners and these demons, they, even as we bring out these words, you know, the words of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, these scoffers and these scorners, it's not like we're putting our hands on them, but it's the word of, of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, man. You know? So Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, him waking us up, he put us into this fight, man. All right, so we stick with him, man. We're going to win. All right, we're going to win, man. You know, just think about it this way, man. If somebody chooses you to be in the ring, you know what I'm saying? They, if somebody chooses you to be in the ring and to represent them, what if you think they would want you to win, man? All right? Uh, I was watching a video of the brother, um, GMS Awakening 144. He did a beautiful video on... You know, cast, uh, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me, man. Then it goes into, you know, how basically, if the Most High is your father, man, he's gonna, if the Most High is your father, you know what I'm saying, he's not gonna see you fall, man. What? You know, the scriptures also say that <clears throat> I have never seen a righteous forsaken begging bread. You know, so, you know, just my thoughts on basically, you know, be sincere, man. Because if you don't sincerely want to change, man, you're going to fall, man. You're not going to see your faults, in which case when you're tested, all right, you're not going to you're not gonna understand that you're being tested. You're just going to fall for saying and then saying it's ultimately going to have you in a trick bag, man. Like these niggas, you know what I'm saying, these scoffers and scorners, Satan got them, man. All right? They signed up, you know what I'm saying, to serve Satan, and then Satan going to have their ass take the chip. You know, because they're being fleshly, not being spiritual. And then Satan's going to wash his hands with it, with their ass, man. But we can't be like that, man. We got to remain spiritual. You know, so with that, I pray, brothers, edified. Um, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Barakatham.